Examination uh, Council. And the news this afternoon is that in the ongoing WASI, that's the West African Senior High School Certificate Examination, they have arrested six uh, teachers and invigilators. They were helping the students answer uh, some of the questions that they were saddled with today. And since I've been arrested, they've been handed over to the police for the police to process them for court. We'll follow this matter up keenly and bring you the very latest in subsequent bulletins. But let me take you to your election headquarters because the NDC flag bearer, John Mahama, has delivered a damning verdict on the MPP's flag bearer, Dr. Mama Dubaumi's recent media encounter, accusing him of spreading lies and delivering incoherent speech at the event. Speaking during his tour of the Greater Accra region, he further accused the MPP of harboring devious intentions, saying their media engagement was an attempt to shift focus away from the NDC's manifesto launch. Start. We are going to launch our manifesto on the 24th of August. Immediately, our opponents announced that they were going to do a media encounter on the 25th of August, the very next day. You know, the intention for doing that media encounter the next day after we had announced our manifesto was to turn the attentions of Ghanaian from the NDC manifesto. That was the main reason that they decided to do a media encounter the very next day after we launched our manifesto. But you see, when you do something with devious intention, it backfires on you. When you do something with devious intention, it backfires on you. You know how to tell when somebody is lying. If there are people who are smooth talkers, who can speak ra -ta 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 like machine gun, the time when they become stammerous and they start stammering, you know they are lying. Somebody who can speak ta -ta 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 like AK-47, Suddenly, media encounter. I think. Ezu, ni moni ji, moni hiye ise. Etolele ya wo. Ezu. The person started stammering, and you can't tell the head or tail. The fundamentals are weak, and then he went logoligi, 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 logoligi. And so, you must do things with truthful intention, and the basic principle of leadership is truth and honesty. Well, let's stay a little longer on the NDC because they're also calling for an urgent meeting with the Electoral Commission over what they describe as serious discrepancies and covered during the ongoing 2024 voter exhibition exercise. In a letter signed by the party's General Secretary Fifi Fiave Kwete, the NDC expressed concern about the inconsistencies between the provisional voter register provided by the Commission and the register currently being exhibited at the various centres. The party is urging for a straight resolution to these issues to ensure that the upcoming election are free, fair, and transparent. And we have a copy of that statement that they sent to the, to the EC, the letter, actually. They said, we bring you greetings from the NDC headquarters. Now, we write to request for an important emergency meeting with you and your team to discuss very serious discrepancies discovered during the ongoing 2024 voter exhibition exercise. And the letter goes on to say that the discrepancies emanate from the analysis of the provisional voter register given to S, that's the NDC, by the Commission and Register being exhibited at the centres. We anticipate a favourable and timely response as we work towards free, fair and transparent elections. And this is the special letter the NDC delivered to the Office of the Electoral Commission uh, this uh, morning, requesting an urgent meeting. Remember that the voter, the voter exhibition exercise is ending today. Deputy General Secretary of the party, Mustafa Bande, says the meeting is necessary as the party casts doubt on the AC's ability to organize a free, fair, and transparent election in December. Still, still 
fundamental data discrepancies in terms of the registration that we have done and also the provisional voter register that was given to political parties. And then what has been provided or what is being used by the commission itself are the various exhibition centers that are ongoing. And these discrepancies goes to the root of the credibility of the exercise that we are undertaking. Um, we have decided that the Electoral Commission is an institution. And the first step, let us request a meeting. Let the Commission avail itself mm. and the presence of other political parties who equally have interest mm. so that these matters can first be addressed by the Commission because obviously the Commission is the institution responsible for everything that is about election, registers, and everything. So for the benefit of the doubt, we think that is appropriate that a commission would be briefed on some of the particulars of the issues before we hit to public. So that uh, in the event that the commission is not able to deal with it, then we can open up. But in the meantime, I can refer you to um, some other ancillary issues such as what has happened in Tamale, where people are being transferred from one constituency to the other without, from Tamale South precisely to Pusiga constituency. So it's not even adjoining constituencies, it's, it's another region. Pusiga and Tamale are very far. Mm -hmm. And so how did we get to a place where people and their data is being transferred when they, they haven't actually applied for transfer? So these matters are very serious issues, including uh, like I said, huge discoveries, fundamental discoveries of discrepancies that the Electoral Commission should be able to address if the, the IPAC meeting. So this was this morning uh, on News Dex, on Joy News. Now, what is the latest on it? As the EC responded to the, electoral, to the NDC, Dr. Rashid Tanko is Deputy Director of Elections with the NDC, and he joins me via phone for us to get a very latest on this matter. Uh, Dr. Tanko Computer, thank you very much for your time this afternoon here already on the poll. Do you have a response from the Electoral Commission? He said, good afternoon to your cherished viewers. My brother asked with signal, the Electoral Commission has not responded yet. Uh, we are still waiting for their response uh, so that we can go and have these discussions with them over the, the serious discrepancies that we have found in the Provisional Voter Register as display at the exhibition center and the one given to us. So walk us through the discrepancies that you, you say requires this emergency meeting. In fact, it, it, it boils down to the heartbeat of the whole register itself. Mm. Uh, because the register as we speak now, the EC is not telling us the total registered figures. I remember the other time you interviewed my good friend, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. He, yes, he was mentioning some, uh, some figures. And then uh, you put them together into giving us almost uh, an 18 million 700,000 plus, right? Yes. Uh, but if you look at their last statement when they were about to do their exhibition, they mentioned some uh, 18 million 681,000. So you see that they are not even too sure of the figures themselves as they put out publicly. And secondly, when we look at the exhibition, the exhibited register, there's zero discrepancy in terms of figures. And, 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 and then the numbers are close. Some have doubled, some there are shortfalls in, in, the, in the constituencies, some transfers have, have quadrupled, unprecedented, we've never seen that kind of transfer. Mm. And then so all these things goes to the heartbeat of the register itself. And we need to have an encounter with them. So, so Lota, is this nationwide or restricted to certain areas? In, in fact, it's a course. It, it, it's not specific. It's of course, because if you look at it, it cuts across from the northern region, upper east, upper west, Bono regions, and even Ashanti region, a substantial number of them, where we have these challenges that we want them to take a look at it, mm. especially this transfers matter, the way they have, the data has been moved. I, I mean, it, 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 it beats our imagination. Why should they have an IT department that they, 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 they are always saying that it's one of the best, always chaining out one of the substandard 
data that we can always think of. Because this one doesn't make sense to anybody. And so from your Migrating uh, four data together mm -hmm. to have a composite register, and yet we are having this challenge. It's, it's, it's unheard of. So, 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 Doctor, from your own analysis, what could be what could be responsible for this challenge that you have identified? That is why we want to meet them. Because they should be able to tell us what is responsible for this challenge. Because it's their own data. The data that we are talking about is from them. They gave us the TVR and they display the registers for, for the exhibition purpose. Mm. And then people go there to check their names and they are seeing discrepancies. They are saying, I have not asked for any transfer and I've been transferred. I have not moved from one place to another and you have moved. Where from that? So these are the things we want them to find out. They should be able to tell us uh, what has caused all this. And then how are they going to make sure that all these things are put back in, 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 into order before we go to uh, December 7th? So currently, with, with what you have witnessed, I mean, yes. is, is it you understand them that if yes. these errors are not corrected, it will compromise the integrity of the register? Completely. In fact, if these errors are not corrected, of the register mm -hmm. is, 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 is highly ineffective. It cannot be used for any purpose. It's, it's sick. And I can describe it as a crime scene mm. because it bedeviled with a lot of discrepancies that you cannot be used. You can even think of talking of free, fair, transparent, credible election with this type of register. It's completely sick. And we know that the, the exercise itself, the exhibition, is ending today. So beyond today, you think that you can rectify it and then what avenue would there be available to, to, to ensure that I mean, after going through the process of rectifying whatever errors that exist now, we'll be fine-tuned such that on December 7th, the right register will be what people will go and check their names. Uh, well, that is why we, as a political party, the NDC, also the view that if they can even extend the exhibition for additional days, at least from three, four days, because now people are now getting to understand that the register, there is a problem, they have to rush and go and check their names. Mm. Because if you use their short code, the short code is given a different data. You go to the registration, uh, the exhibition center, and you have a different information too. So if you are even going to rely on the short code, the short code is even more faulty than even what they've exhibited. Because I can imagine using the short code and you give me a data that is different from my ID card, mm. the one I'm having. And I use the same ID card for voting during the 2020. And now this ID card, I've used your short code, and it's giving me a different uh, uh, data altogether. And so it is important that they should allow some time for people. Now people are now awakening, and they now realize that, hey, this issue is mysterious. Because the, the issue of family yesterday mm. has reawakened people uh, now that they should have to run, rush and go and check their names in the register. Because, for instance, my brother, you are sitting here. I don't know whether you've gone to check your name or not. I, it could be that your name has been sent to Abunkurgu uh, Yunyo. You are not aware. If you haven't gone to check and you think that because you voted in 2020, your name is inter, you have your ID card. If you don't go and check, these people would have sent your name somewhere. In fact, I, I, I use a short code to check. I mean, what... Uh, I will uh, advise you to go and check the main register itself, the mm -hmm. one display. Right. A so, good friend of mine used the short code. Mm -hmm. The information he had on it was not correct. We advise that you should go to the exhibition center and recheck when you went to the exhibition center interestingly enough the name in the exhibited register was correct but the, the short code was given a different data so you see that when he started uh, he, he was a bit mad we told him don't be mad there are two things either the short code or you go to the main one because these people we can't trust them the it department is, is a crime scene and it needs to be exercised if we don't exercise the their it department this problem will continue that, 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 and that's the one they check. It, mm -hmm. it, it really, he saw the differences. And so he was advising his department people that, hey, my brothers, you have to go and check. Oh, don't rely on the short code because the short code is giving you a different information. Let, uh, Dr. Tango, let, let, let me ask a final question on this matter because I know that in the areas that you identify these lapses, I mean, the EC, the EC, I don't know whether your agents drew the attention of the Electoral Commission officer there and the response that the agent got. Uh, well, you see, if you even draw the attention of the Electoral Commission there, they cannot do it because, you know, per exhibition, it is when corrections and then objections and inclusions are filled by the people by themselves, mm. the person who is looking for it. 
For instance, if I go there and see a problem with my name, I can request for the uh, uh, this uh, correction or inclusion or objection. Right. Okay. Fine. But when it, when it comes to issues of correction and inclusion, an agent cannot just do it there. He cannot correct it himself. He can only escalate it to us, mm -hmm. so that we will take it out. Because if the person does not come to check himself, he cannot stand there and say, "Okay, I've seen a mistake in this uh, in this your data here. Correct it there." That is not his business. Are you getting it? Right. So that is why they have escalated all these problems they have seen. Because we don't forget, we have given them the PVRs. We have printed to our agents. They have, they have it. They have also compare what they are seeing there. Mm. And they'll be able to tease out all these discrepancies for it. And that is why we have written to them. In fact, a lot of them, we don't want to discuss it publicly as of now. Mm. Because we think that the right forum for this discussion is the Electoral Commission. Right. And that is why we have written to them that we are asking for this emergency meeting. So we're going to sit with them. We give it to them. It's your data. This is what we have seen in your data. Try to resolve that data. Before we go to adjudication, we know that we are going to have adjudication. Mm. But we need to solve this one because because adjudication, a report will have to come to us before we, we adjudicate it. But we, if we don't I, know I this, asked, time, they'll bring us an, a report to adjudicate. Yeah, I, 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 I ask that question because I know that the essence of the voters' exhibition is to look at whether everything is okay, and if there are errors, how do we deal with it? The Electoral Commission will then have to now correct whatever errors that may arise out of the exhibition exercise. And so the expectation is that when these errors are pointed out to them by your agents, they will take steps to correct them. So I'm asking uh, the necessity of this meeting, if the exercise itself was to look at whether everything is fine, if everything is not fine, how do you deal with it? And then we'll go, we'll go to the drawing board and have it done and then present it to you again. That is why I'm saying that. Because, for instance, the 23 names uh, they written, the, 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 the 32 or so names that were uh, discovered in northern region mm -hmm. haven't been transferred illegally from Tamale South all the way to Pusiga. These people, just a few of them went to check their names and realized that their names have been transferred. Without, so a good number of them have not gone to check about. their names. Mm. And now, now that those people have not gone, and we have been able to look at it, look at the register, and realize that, hey, these names have been moved, these names have been moved, these names are not there, they have been taken out from the register. Right. That is why we have put them together and want to meet the electoral commission and present it to them. So, so that for this correction, because if we haven't pointed that, the EC wouldn't have known this because they brought that in this. Right. So, 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 and so, that is why so, we so, want so, to meet them meeting, and present those things to them. This meeting we are requesting, are you doing so under the auspices of IPAC or just the NDC alone wanting to meet the EC? Well, we have written, we have seen, we have this, uh, uh, studied the PVR given to us. And then so our general secretary has written to them. It's at the behest of our National Executive Committee. We have discussed it and think that, look, the right forum for this matter is a mission to discuss it. So that is why we have written to them. Other political parties may take up. I don't know whether they are also studying the register or not. Uh, that, is, that one is left to them. But we are, in our site, our IT department, we have taken time to study the register. And we have seen these serious discrepancies, which has rendered the, the, the register a very sick register that cannot be used for a purpose until all these discrepancies are resolved. All right. Thank you so much for your time. This afternoon, Dr. Rashid Tanko, Computer, is Deputy Director of Elections with the National Democratic Congress, ENDC. And they say that they have identified so many errors with the ongoing voter exhibition exercise, which is actually ending today. And they've requested an emergency meeting with the Electoral Commission to try and see how best they can resolve uh, these matters. Well,